Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about get subfolders in folder action in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. So let's get started. So first what we will do is we will use the get special folder as I have told in my previous video that it gives me a direct path to a desktop documents application data and all other you know folders uh, on your machine so you can choose those names and you will get the direct path of that folder on any machine okay and then i will click on save I will just go back to the file explorer and show you the structure of the folder and here you can see that there is a folder created on the desktop which is named as bot underscore files and inside that I have two folder one is folder underscore one and folder underscore two inside folder underscore one I have sub one as a subfolder and inside folder underscore 2 I have another folder which is named as sub 2 and there is also a file which is named as file underscore 1 okay okay so now I will use the get sub folders in folder action and here you can see that we have multiple options right so first we have to specify the folder right so you can click on this icon to choose the folder directly but however i have uh, the direct path stored in the special subfolder special folder path variable so i'll use this one and as we know that on the desktop i have a folder which is named as bot underscore files and I want all the subfolder details in the inside this okay and here we can specify the filter so filter you can specify just like this so let's say I want a folder which is having underscore 2 at the end okay and then I'm saying include subfolders okay and then I will click on save let me run this part okay and here you can see that the folders variable is having a folder you know list of folder and as we have filtered this folder you can see that it has given me only folder underscore 2 right so we have put the filter like star which means anything before underscore 2 so this is why it has taken only folder underscore 2 if I click on more here you can see a lot more uh, attributes right so we can see that it has creation time it has exists full name is empty you know so is empty it is given giving as false which means it is not empty there are some files inside it and then you can see that there are you know other attributes like name root path files count folders count and parent right so these attributes you can choose I will click on close so let's say I will use I want to display the name okay so I will click on this variable icon choose the folder so folders variable which is list of folders right we have an attribute which is dot count 
I'll choose that then I will click on save and now if I run this bot you will see that it will give me some count right and let's say I I want the name of the folder okay so what I can do is I will use the for each activity because we know that folders variable is a list type of variable right I'll choose the I will choose the folder variable and then the current item will be stored in the current item variable okay and I'll just drag this inside the loop I will double click and instead of this variable I will choose current item and you see in the current item we have so many attributes right full name and inside full name we have dot length dot is empty you know all these things we have so let's say I just want name okay I will click on save and then I will run this bot so you can see that it has given me the name of that folder and let's say if I want some other attribute so I will just clear that variable go to the variable icon and expand the current item and let's say I want full name I will click on save and then I will run the bot as you can see it has given me the full name of that folder now if let's say you want to rename this folder okay so what you will do in this case you will go to this variable icon choose the current item and then select the name okay so this current item dot name will have folder underscore 2 right and then you have to give the name so I will give new name as folder underscore 3 right and then I will click on save and now I will run this part so it says that folder to rename folder underscore 2 does not exist instead of this what I will do is I will take the full path okay so we have full name attribute and then I will click on save and then I will run this part now you see the execution is computed successfully now I will go back to the file explorer here you can see that folder underscore 2 has been renamed as folder underscore 3 right and now if I go inside this it is still has that subfolder which is named as sub underscore 2 right in order to rename a folder you always need to give full path of that folder okay so now I will go to get subfolders in folder and I will remove this filter okay now I will expand the advanced section and here you can see that we have multiple options right so for example it is giving me an option to choose like fail upon denied access to any subfolder you know 
which means if there is any kind of restriction on a subfolder so in that case you know you want to deny the action so in that case it will fail okay and so you can sort it by you know by these options full name root path directory name you know you can choose all these option and by default it will be in the ascending order but you can choose this option to make a descending order okay just like this we have so these are sorting options you can choose the option whatever you want now I will click on save and here I will just left click so it will put the breakpoint okay and now I will run the bot and let's go to the folders variable and I will expand it now and here you can see that you have all the folders you know which is in the folder underscore 1 and folder underscore 3 right so it is including all these subfolders as well so here you can see that it says folder underscore 1 folder underscore 3 and we know that inside folder underscore 1 we have a, another folder which is named as sub 1 and folder underscore 3 has another folder which is named as sub 2 right so just like this you can perform actions on specific folder in the power automate desktop so I will click on stop this is how you can use get subfolders in folder action in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day